so amazing is the moonlight that makes me wonder why we separated or am i faded you shine so bright it's an understatement single is overrated if you get too close my baby might let you take me back Welcome back to my channel welcome back today is saturday and it's the day of the picnic you can tell i hope you can tell because i'm looking so gully <laughs> i'm going to show you my dress in a few but i wanted to do the intro here before i leave the house i'm waiting for my uber to get here i've packed i've carried everything please excuse the heating i'm carrying this little bag it has all my essentials of course i have my sunscreen with me because i have to keep reapplying especially on my face but i have my body sunscreen screen on so i'm getting ready to leave and i'm all good and packed up let me show you my picnic basket here's my picnic basket i have the snacks there i haven't left them open we're going to set them up when we meet and i have some glasses here i have my little tripod a scarf because i know it might get cold later on in the day but yeah i'm ready for my picnic i am super super excited for today i've really waited for this day we planned this day with koi like over a month ago i think the first week of january and we've made it happen well we are making it happen today so yeah i have the Joanna K Cosmetics Limuru and is this basically? Yeah, Limuru and basically it looks nice. I love that color. I love the color so much. The dress is from Thrift001 on Instagram. I'm going to show you how it looks like. The bag is from Bugs Corner254. Yeah. So I am going to pass by Go to Home Collections because they have a new location now. They opened a store and it's looking nice. I want to just pass by and say hi. I wasn't going to make it for the official launch, which is happening later on in the afternoon. So I told them I'll just pass by, see the store, and congratulate them. And then we're going to I'm going to organize another day to go and see their stock and see what they have. But yeah, that's the plan. So I'm going to pass by Go to Home Collections, then head on to meet Koi. And and then we will go to our location i'm definitely going to bring you guys along today i'll have a few snippets of the day to just bring you guys along i'll tag everything i'll share details on how we organize this picnic and all those details when i come back or during the day but yeah it's a beautiful location the weather is nice it's not too hot like the few days we've seen sun blazing so it's getting cooler then warmer that's why i have a scarf but yeah i'm super super excited for this I hope you guys enjoy this vlog i hope you really do enjoy this vlog yeah so let me show you my outfit and then we leave and go for our picnic so here's my outfit it's a long dress with a little slit oh my god it's so cute it's just so cute i love the puffy arms and the square neck just too too cute i'm going to show you guys nicely when i get to my location you will see it nicely but yeah that's the dress from thrift 001 these are the sandals i'm wearing they are from sesh kenya on instagram i've had this for over a year actually over two years they are really really nice the top is fabric and the bottom is rubbery so really comfortable and perfect for the summer so let's go i will catch you guys when i get to go to home collections oh nice okay Okay, I'll talk to you. Talk to you very soon. I'll come. Turn around, give another go. Try me crazy, try me. 
say anything, but it could mean everything. Cause you said it to the right person, and they needed the compliment. But isn't it sickening? You can say you're in love with them, but it won't mean anything at all. But that's not your fault. Life's funny like that. You lose one thing, get another one back. You thought you knew, but it wasn't a fact. Know them your whole life, but it was all an act. There's no meaning. But like in the best of ways, you could go a hundred days without really doing anything and still have the right to say, I'm so incredible. Oh, yeah, I'm lovable. Cause it's not a love performance, no. There's nothing that you owe. Out the equation. Can we longer than your own patience? Can we longer than your own patience? Like you're here waiting until you're not. Can't remember what you forgot. You can't take yourself out the equation. Life's funny like that. You lose one thing, get another one back. You thought you knew, but it wasn't no fact. Know them your whole life, but it was all an act. There's no me. Best of ways, you could go a hundred days without really doing anything and still have the right to say, I'm so incredible, yeah, I'm lovable, cause it's not in the performance, no, feel no need to explain, I'll say it all again, now you don't have to show them Stuck in late, we can't jump through. 
happy sunday i know i left you guys hanging yesterday but we had the best picnic ever and then we went home well we went to koi's house and we just talked and talked and talked i got home at like past 1 a.m so that was a really really nice date so yeah so i just wanted to uh, give you details of the picnic so the picnic was at naishola gardens it's along limul road after saint paul's just on a climbing lane there you will see naishola gardens that's where we went but they have two picnic spots they have one that's closer to the entrance and then another one that is deep deep down past the tea leaves where there is even a dam yeah so that's the one we went to it has a really really cute flower Hours, as you guys have seen from the clips i took but yeah i just wanted to share those details we paid 500 per person and you can carry anything you can cook and carry in hot pots you can buy takeout you can buy snacks you can buy whatever you want and take with you to the picnic spot yeah so they close at 6 p.m from what they told us but we left at like 6 26 30 so it's not like super strict but you will even leave because that place gets really really cold because it's in a t-zone and you guys know limoru is not a joke so yeah so we left at around 6 30 we got there at like some minutes to four so we had about two hours which was perfect actually because the sun had gone down or was about to go down so it wasn't super super hot we had a really really good time and i urge you guys to go and try that spot of course don't overdo it <laughs> don't overdo it and feel the spot but it's such a nice cute little date if you love outdoors if you love to spend time in nature it's a nice nice activity for you to do and it's a nice thing to do with your friends so that was our little version of galentines i would call it we planned this like in the first week of jan and we made it happen yeah so we bought everything we got food from java and then we i got the snacks my my role was to carry the snacks carry a wicker basket carry uh the glasses for eating the cake and then what else did i carry yeah but i was majorly on snacks and then we got some drinks which we didn't even drink i am actually really impressed that we don't even place alcohol anywhere closer to um our regular life i am not i am not big on alcohol i i can just pass it we bought i bought two drinks actually i bought the gordon's pink and i didn't even take it i came back with it home yeah and koi still didn't drink so it's nice to see that we honestly don't we were not even we were more concerned about the cake we were more concerned about the cake which was really really yummy we got it from carrefour it was about i think 700 bob and it was a nice chocolate cake really really yummy we really enjoyed so we got lunch from java roslin then we got cake from cafe we bought a few more snacks we got water from cafe and then uh koi came with flowers i came with the snacks then we set up we got things from her house like blankets and stuff we went to the picnic and it was a nice little date we talked so much and it's nice i am definitely in my date my friends era i am really intentional with my friendships and i hope to do more of those in the future and i hope you get to do that as well yeah so i wanted to share those details in case you're looking to do such a picnic with your friends or with your loved ones this week because it's oh it's past valentine's by this time by the time we're watching this it's past valentine's but if you love someone you can do this all the time right yeah so it doesn't have to be a valentine's plan you can do it whenever whatever however yeah so today's sunday it's almost midday i slept in obviously because i came home late i am trying to finish editing the video that 
is supposed to go live today and my software is just giving me headache today i don't understand what is going on i honestly don't understand what is happening with it but anyway i'll sort it out and then finish editing the video and post it to be watched by around uh 2 p.m yeah then later on in the afternoon i will come back and we will make some nice yummy food for me i really want to make like a, a nice hearty meal for myself today i'm thinking some rice some yeah some coconut rice some beef stew oh my god i love beef i love beef so much it's an obsession some beef stew with carrots and then some cabbage on the side like i just want a hearty meal and that's what we will make together and then i will do my evening self-care that i do usually on sunday so i'll definitely do my everything shower could do my uh planning for the week do my end of week journal reflection i like to call it a reflection like i go over how the week was and how i can do better and i mostly do this not even for work or productivity and all that but it's majorly for my emotions because yeah i know i've said this before but i am quite sensitive so i like to really really get deep into the things that i have felt for that week so i'll definitely do a little emotional catch up <laughs> with myself later on in the evening before i sleep and then that will be it so yeah let me try and sort out what is happening with this whole software thing and the techie in me the techie in me is trying her best to make sure we have a vlog today yeah so yeah i will catch you guys when it's time to cook right yeah Can you imagine that I've been here for four hours since the last time I spoke to you guys? It's almost 4 p.m. and I spoke to you at midday. Um, <laughs> guy, I must really, really, really love my YouTube family for me to have struggled <laughs> with my editing software today. I had to uninstall it, install it again, restart my computer, shut it down, start it again, and it's still like I have done the most, but finally it worked. I don't know what was going on. I deleted so many things. I tried to clear my laptop. I think it was lagging because I didn't have enough storage. I don't know. I am the least techie person you will ever know, but I'm having to learn these things. So it worked and it worked perfectly. So I am waiting for the video to export and then I can upload it. So, and that's how my Sunday has been. Not cute, not cute, but I'm going to spend the rest of the evening just, you know, <laughs> regrouping and really just doing a lot of self care because I feel really, really tired yeah so oh and i'm having my coffee tables delivered today so you guys will get to see them hopefully hopefully they deliver them by the time they said they will they said 5 p.m so we'll wait and see but yeah so i'll process this and then i'll talk to you guys when i start making dinner cleaning up i don't know where i'll start but i'll definitely bring you guys along hey guys i'm currently in the kitchen i want to start making my dinner early because yeah i really really need a restful night so i am able to wake up tomorrow early so i want to start making my food so I'm going to be making coconut rice and uh, beef stew and cabbage on the side. Yeah, I want to start having a lot and I mean a lot of vegetables. So when I went grocery shopping, I got quite a number. Well, I just got cabbage and sugar snaps, but I want to really try and eat as much vegetables as I can. Because, yeah, I really, really need to take care of my diet. It's not the best right now, and I need to improve on that. So, yeah, so I want to prep my dinner. It's going to take a long time, and the beef stew recipe I am using is going to be, uh, what do we call it? It's going to be a slow cook recipe. So, the meat will be on the fire for probably over an hour. So, that's why I want to start now. And then, I want to be done with prep before Lazy Bunny comes, so that they don't interrupt my um filming and my cooking when they come yeah let me start prepping my food i will definitely bring you guys along and i'm going to leave these recipes or well 
I think the only recipe that I might need to write down is the beef one. I'm going to leave it in the description box if you want to try it. But I'm going to share the entire process in videos so that you guys can see how it will turn out. Yeah, so let's get cooking. Precious cargo, be careful with my heart. Oh, say I'm not sensitive, but I can sense a fit right for me. Don't let your head get in the way, can't be defined by your mistakes. You know, you're trying, you try. Different planets Watch your aura pass me by Losing balance What if we run out of time And second chances Empty handed You like the fast life You like to drive and get down and dirty You act like the bad guy You want some love Be like when you feel like calling a midnight I, mm, You got the best of me You got me losing speed I had 
a dream last night. last night Did everything I'm never do in real life I stepped into a room, told everyone to be quiet Cause I had something to say, blew everybody away And wear whatever I want Dressed in a gown, everybody's like Why are you going nowhere special? Just going to the store I think I'd have it all, tell you why I've been more Picking the plate, being a plate She is on a roof Never seen it like this, didn't think it existed, no truly Don't get in the way, she's not in a place, she'll get moody But don't mistake this girl for being me Cause these are dream rules This is someone else, I'm not myself, no, no mm -hmm. Cause these are dream rules this is someone else, I'm not myself, no, no Problems disappear. She could tell you the things you want to hear. She could read your mind and that she could a lie. Of a little lies, you tell yourself it. Never get it wrong, it's always right. Making the play, being the play. She is on a roof. Never seen it like this. Didn't think it existed, no truth. She's not here to play, she'll get moody But don't mistake this girl for being me Cause these are dream rules This is someone else, I'm not myself, no, no mm -hmm. Cause these are dream rules This is someone else put the beef to cook so what i've done is that i've seared the meat first uh, in just some oil and then added the onion some garlic uh, left that to brown a bit and then i added my spices added tomatoes and a lot of soup well not a lot but quite <laughs> quite an amount so this is going to simmer for almost two hours actually i'm going to leave this on the heat for an hour and a half before i add the other ingredients and it's going to be really thick and yummy i've used black pepper paprika some bay leaves these ones are really good for stew by the way some knorr knorr <laughs> beef cubes salt obviously some dark soy sauce i love this because it's not too salty so later on i'll add my tiny potatoes carrots and uh, bell peppers but i will add them in the order of potatoes carrots and bell peppers last because i want this to be a little crunchy yeah so this is just going to stay on the fire for the next hour in the meantime i'm going to clear the sink dump these things in the dustbin clear the dish rack and then maybe tidy up the kitchen a bit and then i will be back to make the rice and the cabbage Thinking you were the one that it was loving 
never to see you again That was simply delusion Followed up with confusion I was just substitution for a lonely bed So that's impressive How much I'm messing with my feelings in my heart looking really good it's really yummy love it so I want to make the cabbage here and my rice here so I will be done with dinner in just about 20 minutes I should be done and then I've cleared a bit the kitchen is kind of clean <laughs> I just need to do the cabbage do the rice and then go take my pampa shower
cabbage is done and the rice is cooking i leave that to cook so while the rice cooks i want to show you guys oh my skin my skin wait <laughs> Yeah, while the rice cooks, I want to show you guys what I will be using today for pampa shower. Because, yeah, it's Sunday and I must have my pampa shower routine. So, I want to quickly show you those products. I have done that same routine before and I did it a few vlogs ago. I'm going to link that video here, here, and check out that video. But I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using today for my pampa routine it's almost night time what time is it it's like it's 6 38 i'm still waiting for the coffee tables to get here and because i want to end this vlog by like at 8 p.m and sit and eat and rest i let me go show you what i'll be using hopefully lazy bunny comes as soon as possible because i need to take that shower and then sit down and eat and also do my weekly prep or weekly planning which i will share with you what it entails so yeah let's go to the bathroom i share with you my products for today here we are so my first step before i even share with you what i'll be using the shower caddy is from oka deco i've had it for quite some time so i'm not sure they have it but they always have options and they bring different ones after they sell out on the previous ones they always bring something for the bathroom section and you can check out if you find something similar or something nice for your bathroom anyway i want to show you what i'll be using today so to start to start us off i am going to be using this hamosa plumeria and grapefruit i don't know if it's clear Yes, I'm going to be using this Hermosa Plumeria and Grapefruit Shower Cream. I use this at the start of my shower. As you can see, I've quite used it. I got this small sample just to try and see if I like it. And I absolutely like it. I love the scent and I love how foamy it is. So this is the beginning of my shower routine. The Hermosa Plumeria and Grapefruit. It's really, really nice. If you want to add something to your routine to make it really lax and cute and nice, just gully stuff <laughs> follow hamosa on instagram and get their shower cream so that's the start after the hamosa shower cream i'm going to use the dove exfoliating body scrub this is the pomegranate seeds and shea butter scent i've said here before i have dry skin so i tend to go for products that have shea butter for my body and this is really really good i love that it forms a little so you feel like you're really really scrubbing all the dirt yeah so this is what i will use after the shower cream and then i'll go in with this dove purely pampering i love this so much again it has shea butter it's one of my favorites and i love the scent so much i use this after exfoliating just to remove you know the tiny little particles in scrubs and just to have a nice shower clean up again yeah i go in with that i recently added another shower product which is the ole rinse off body conditioner again it has shea butter because i love shea butter products this is so so moisturizing after the shower you know the way you just feel dry and the skin is flaky and itchy this really comes in handy i love it so much i use it daily i got a small one just to see how it works i if i can remember correctly i got it from nt beauty uh they are my skincare plug i get my skincare from them and this was 1650 it's quite pricey but for what it does for me i'll definitely keep repurchasing it yeah so after my shower gel this is what i will use and then just for vibes and to feel a little more fresher than usual i'm going to use the vagisil ph balance intimate wash i got this from zua products it's a really really nice i've used it for some time and it's really really nice highly recommend you can get it from zua products if you're looking for vagisil and they also have femme fresh and other intimate washes you can check them out for my face wash i'll use my usual CeraVe foaming cleanser for normal to oily skin i have combination skin on my face which is oily to normal and this works for me this is like my third tab highly recommend those are the products that i will be using my body routine will end with the ole conditioner but on days that i don't use the conditioner i end my shower routine with this shower mousse really nice i've really really used it i need to start thinking of repurchasing and i need to fund my skincare and body care fund 
because yeah i really do go heavy on these products anyway that's all i'll be using today for my shower routine i will leave links to where you can get all these products if you're looking for them but yeah most of them are available in the supermarkets but for those that are not you can get them from skincare stores like beauty square bandari beauty nt beauty rc accessories all of those i'm going to leave a list of where you can check out uh of where you can get authentic and genuine and high quality skincare products for your body and also for your face yeah so let me wait for those guys to come and then i will do my pamper routine is here and it's so big but it was much much bigger than that so this one is supposed to go under there so they came two of them so there's that and then there's this one and the big table so these ones are supposed to go inside there but yeah i love it i love it it's cute it's nice it's very high quality wood the same that my bed came with so yeah it's cute it's so so cute so let me try to set it up and then we see how it will look after i've unwrapped everything These are the disadvantages of living alone. Anyway, I've managed to set it up. So those two are supposed to go down there. And then now the bigger one on top. I still think it's quite big <laughs> for my space. But I think I'll grow on it. Yeah, so that's how it looks like. I love it. I love that now I don't have too many white things. And there's some sort of, you know, balance with all the other whites I have over there. Yeah, I love it. Thank you so much, Lazy Bunny, for even adjusting the lengths and weights because i had the measurements wrong last time thank you so much i love my table it's nice and it's well finished so if i need a stool i can just pull this one out and then place whatever i'm having here or if i want to just keep them as they are i can if i have guests these are extra seats and tables and all that so it's really nice i'm happy with it go get your furniture from a lazy bunny Feels like the first time Throw away all my pride Don't wanna say I love you first But holding it in just might make me burst Love in the open Daydreaming hoping Melting in heart Whispering winds bring the remembrance that you're my girl. No shame, no games. I wanna fall in love, fall in love. I'll be a savage, I'll be a baddest bitch, or do you? Caramel honey dipped I'm yours till the beat flips Don't let it slip Give up my power Yes, I 
Hey guys, so I'm done and I feel so good already. I feel so so good. That pampa routine takes me to places I have never been. <laughs> anyway, I just love Sunday pampa sessions and I feel really really good. So it's already night time, it's dark. I want to sit down and eat, but before I do, I wanted to share some few insights on how to beat Sunday anxiety or Monday anxiety. I know you guys know it's a thing where uh, Sunday comes and you're tense and nervous and anxious about the new week and you feel like you need to be doing stuff and you feel like you really need to plan ahead and just, you know, be ready for the new week. I've suffered from that for a very, very long time, but now I Days, I'm able to just be present and enjoy my Sunday a long time ago I used to just be nervous and my Sundays used to look like Mondays busy days but I've tried to reduce that by just having a grounding Sunday doing the things that make me happy doing the things that feed into my soul and doing things that help me take care of myself like my pampa routine like making myself a meal taking the entire weekend off uh you know chilling watching movies making cocktails drawing uh, coloring uh, listening to music doing restful stuff so that i am able to handle the new week better so what i usually do is i write a list of the things that i want to do the next week uh, just roughly I don't really plan into detail like I do other days so on Sunday evening I'll just sit down and write all the things I have on my mind uh, regarding work regarding content I'll just note those things down on a rough book and then I will leave it at that and come Monday morning I already know what I need to be doing for the week so I don't wake up on Monday with such rush of oh my god I need to do this I need to do that yeah so that's what I will do I've actually done a part of it i wrote down those things earlier on in the day when i was uploading my video i wrote down the things that i need to do this week so when i remember something i note it down when i remember something else i note it down that way by the time it's evening i'm not feeling like oh my god monday is here i don't even know what to do with my life it's going to be a busy week no i feel like i have some sort of control over how i feel towards monday another thing i used to do and that used to really really help is to Taking my Mondays as off days so I would work on Saturday and then on Monday it would be like another Sunday which used to really help when I used to write myself but now that I don't I am okay waking up on Monday and just going home with work because I am doing much more enjoyable work nowadays it's like creating content or I'm waking up to write scripts or write proposals to send to brands or I'm reviewing work that's been written like my work now is more fun and I enjoyable so i don't feel like i need to really really prep for it but if you're able to that's another hack you can work on saturdays and then take your mondays off or you can do half saturday half monday and then you have like a slow start to the week and you can ease into the week yeah so that's another tip i would share but generally self-care really really helps with monday anxiety or sunday anxiety people use those terms interchangeably it can be sunday anxiety and it can be monday anxiety depending on what you know you you think of it to be self-care really really helps and that's why i said in the video i did about creating a routine i said that you need to have a self-care day to pour into yourself and to ground yourself so that you bring yourself back to yourself because life is busy work is busy you have to pour uh, from your cup to other people to your work to your kids to your family to your spouse to your everybody to your neighbors even at this point <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I feel like we we really do pour out of ourselves within the week So we need to have either a Saturday or a Sunday to use as a self-care day and for moms that I know for sure for sure I'm not a mom yet, but I know moms uh, Don't usually get their Sunday off because nannies are off But you can have like a little day maybe in the middle of the week And it doesn't even have to be a day by the way It can be an afternoon by yourself to sit to journal write your gratitude list write your plans for the week Week, write your goals for the week have a conversation with yourself touch base with yourself check in with what's going on in your mind and your heart all those things really really help to ground you and to help you reduce the anxiety that comes with the start of a new week yeah so i really wanted to share that in case you feel like you get some sort of pressure 
on sunday to feel like oh my god a new week is here and i don't know what i need to do with it and now oh my weekend is gone and you feel sad you can try and do those things and yeah find what works for you and run with it Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate you for being here and for watching my content and supporting my channel. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. And I will see you next time. Bye.